Thanks for joining me today on Classic Mini DIY. So for today, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to take the cylinder head off of your motor. Um, this uh, cylinder head already has the valve cover off, um, and actually this, the whole engine is outside of the car, um, which uh, I will be covering in a different video. Um, this is a strictly how to remove the stud bolts on your Mini and uh, get those out. So on my car, you'll see these stud bolts, one here, one here, and they go around the whole car, and this one, this one, here, 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 and here, um, and then where the socket sits as well. Those are all the engine stud bolts that hold the whole head pressed against your block. Um, those need to come out. Um, on my car, I've got ARP stud bolts, um, which are aftermarket, um, and they use a 12-point uh, head on these nuts. Your car might have standard uh, sockets. What you're gonna need to do is take your valve cover off or look at the ones on the front here. Mine actually take two separate size sockets, um, one of which is a 7 16 and the other is a 3 8 um, But again, not all cars are like this. Um, while you're taking these off, you are going to want to um, kind of go in a star pattern as you're taking it off. You want that whole head to come off pretty uniformly. So you'd start on the far right, go back over here, then go over here on this side, just zigzag across this head so it all comes off very smooth and, uh, and steady. So first, let's go ahead and take these center ones out. Now you may notice I'm just loosening these right now. I'm not bringing them all the way out. I just wanna break all these loose so that when we start taking it off the rest, it's not, uh, it's not very difficult. So as we loosen these, our rocker assembly is gonna get looser and looser as well. That's okay. All right, great. So those are all loose. Well, they were. Now, as you're taking these off, I strongly, strongly recommend having a diagram laid out somewhere where you can set these and uh, kind of plan for exactly how they came out of the car and you don't lose track. In my case, I'm gonna be using a nice piece of uh, old wood here, um, and I'm gonna lay them out on this exactly in the pattern that they came out on the car. All right, great. So now all of the stud bolts are out. Or sorry, the stud nuts. Next, we are going to actually lift our rocker assembly up and off of the stud bolts. Um, make sure one of those push rods come with it. So there we have it, the whole rocker assembly. Go ahead and set that over somewhere clean. Awesome. So the next thing, if you're doing a full head removal and rebuild, these push rods you're gonna wanna take out and keep in order. It's really important that they stay in the same order they come out in. Um, to do that, I usually just use a piece of cardboard. Notice I wrote flywheel and water pump on here. And I take the push rods out, push rod, and press them through these holes on the cardboard. And there we have it. And that'll keep them in the order that they come out in. And there we have it.
we have it, our wind chime of push rods. And all of those are very straight, which is good. We don't have any problems there. Um, bent push rods are a bad, bad thing. So I'll go ahead and set this off somewhere clean as well. All right, so now comes the fun part. We actually get to lift the whole cylinder head right off of your motor. And there you have it, your cylinder head. If you look at the bottom, there's your valves and all the space where your cylinder head gasket goes. All your springs stay on with the head and uh, you can just set this big honking thing somewhere safe as well. All right, so I pulled this head gasket off of our, uh, off of our cylinder head. Um, and if you look close, looks like we were having a little burn here burn through but overall that's in pretty pretty good shape um, this was one of the uh, competition black uh, head gaskets as you can see it's not very black anymore I um, guess that's just from the heat of the motor um, and then our cylinders here I'll get you a good look of them and you can see those can see it was running pretty rich before I brought it out here, um, which is not surprising considering what was going on with the motor. Um, but uh, yeah, there we have it, full cylinders and the cylinder head off. Great, so that's it for classic mini DIY on this uh, cylinder head removal job. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below. I'll be doing a video here in the next couple weeks about how to put your cylinder head back on and replace the head gasket. Um, that should be coming up here soon when I get my motor back together. All right, thanks very much.